Hello everybody and welcome back to more Fallout 4, the Automatron DLC. We're obviously at the Robco Sales and Service Center. Duh. If you didn't see the sign. Here to potentially confront them, Mechanist. If it will ever load. My goodness. This is on an SSD, people. That was like as bad as my old computer, almost. <laughs> For a second, I thought I could take the sale sign. Finally, a personalized home computer for the whole family to enjoy. Keep track of activities and tasks, and maintain privacy by adding passwords to logins. Passwords currently not applied. Aw. Oh. Dad? No. Tammy? Jamie? That sucks. I'm glad my intakes have a dust filter. Uh, zero. Am I? Uh, no. No. Potential. No. Potential. No, or rather potential, um, potential. Nice. Oh. Please remember that all employees are under a strict non-disclosure agreement. The violation will not be tolerated. To all staff from Mark Kirch Kirchfield, General Manager. As a reminder, all Robco Sales and Service Center employees are to adhere to the following standards of conduct. There will be no tampering with any shipments labeled RB2851. I believe all employees are aware of what our typical shipment looks like. Any so-called accidental openings of these shipments will not be tolerated and result in immediate termination, followed by extensive questioning by our friends downstairs. Employees are expected to wear official name tags. Name tags should be highly visible and attached to the top right corner of your uniform shirt. Please wear your proper name tag. No swapping. Customers, friends, and family are no longer allowed in the back service area. Jeez. Added. Henrietta Blanche. T. Sanchez. Ms. Blanche claims her terminal just suddenly stopped working. She's getting the default error message. She said it started crashing over time and now it won't even try. So much for suddenly. Uh, from the look of her, I'm guessing there is about a whole cat's worth of hair in that terminal, probably overheating. Bronwyn Sullivan. Miss Sullivan claims that her E603 or 601 was connected to her office network, but never sent out any of her intramail. She also said that there was a complete failing in the notification systems we set up for when purchased. Not sure when the or what the issue is. She says her IT department checked the computer and wasn't sure why it wasn't or isn't working. Brought it back here, threatened to sue. I guess it really screwed up some important meetings for her. Evaluation. Looks like Carmike sabotaged this computer before he quit. I don't know if it was personal or his last hurrah. I think I can see what he did here, but I don't want to make any promises. I recommend pay replacing this terminal with a new one, so it's guaranteed to be uncompromised. Calvin Crenshaw. Crenshaw is back with his ancient terminal. It's at least seven years old at this point, crashing when he tries to play Red Menace. Uh, Calvin's going to have to cave and buy a new terminal. This old NX-12 is only good for writing up documents or playing text-based games at this point. He'd need more memory, which this terminal can't even support. Basically, all new insides or a brand new terminal. Take your pick. This, oh, didn't even. Did not even see that. Oh, gaming. Blah, 
da da. Okay. Six oh one terminal. We just read about this. The Robco model's E six oh one terminal system is a new streamlined terminal for the business minded individual. We'll be sure to climb the corporate ladder by staying organized and on the ball with our state of the art calendar, contact manager, and messaging system. The examples below show some of the customization and detail of the detail the E six oh one is capable of. Daily itinerary. <laughs> this is like a uh, friggin' Apple store. Real people. Oh my god, stop doing that. <laughs> it's totally like an Apple store with all the, the little products lined up. I'll take that piece of metal. Hello. So, go. Oh, it glows. Okay. It's broken. <laughs> like the thing says. I thought maybe that was like a little mini thing where you have to like fix the terminal or something, but it doesn't really look like it. Do I have this key? Oh, I do. Oh, fuck. I thought. I thought if I unlocked it, it would just unlock it and not actually take me outside. Wow, well, only took me forever and a half to get back in. Here. some spare components. Wow. That's a lot of doors. So I wonder if you decided to like kill Jezebel, what would happen then? How do you get in this place? Incoming robot detected. Opening security doors. Jesus. Layers upon layers of doors. Ooh. No bio signs detected. Proceed. Make sure you don't leave anything useful behind. Wow. 
wow. I have to disarm every single one of these manually? Or is there... All personnel must pass through the decontamination when entering or exiting the facility. All personnel must display a rank 22 at minimum security badge with updated photo ID. Failure will result in immediate security lockup until the person may be questioned and confirmed. Guests must present a signed letter of approval from General Rawlings and employee point of contact. All guests must display a guest badge with limited access. Guests must be accompanied at all times. Guests found unattended will be held for questioning and the point of contact will be responsible for their actions. Warning, an Epsilon... Five, six, <laughs> Roman numerals, uh, trip me up. Epsilon six, security alert has been declared. All systems have been locked down. Secure your station and await further instructions. Class five, counter espionage procedure. If the facility administrator has probable cause to suspect breach of security by a foreign intelligence operative, including but not limited to Chinese agents or sympathizers, the administration shall activate the Class B counter or Class 5, whatever, counter espionage procedure. In the event of a Class 5 alert, the facility will enter a minimal security lockdown. All staff are to report to their stations and await further instructions from security personnel. Anyone failing to report in a timely manner or found absent thereafter shall be considered suspect and may be shot on sight. Security teams are to escort the members of each department to the research labs on level 3 for processing. The chief scientist shall prepare a mesmatron equipped robo brain to aid in the interrogation process. Wow. Fancy technology. Due to the experimental nature of this technology, some casualties are to be expected due to spontaneous cranial eruption on the order of 10 to 15 percent. Yikes. Should any agents be discovered, the administrator is authorized to subdue them by any means necessary and turn them over to the research staff for experimentation. After completing the interrogation process, the administrator may terminate this alert at his discretion. Jesus Christ. Gamma 9 security alert. In the event of a coordinated escape attempt and or hostile action by the test subjects, any class 1 or class 2 supervisor is authorized to declare a Gamma 9 security alert. A Gamma 9 security alert will initiate a maximum security lockdown of the research wing and a minimal security lockdown elsewhere. Within the research wing, all security and defensive systems will activate, all local and remote terminal functions will be disabled, and all security doors in the cell block areas will be sealed. The facility administrator is advised to treat this alert as a field test opportunity and to deploy all available experimental robots to secure their research wing. Casualties among the test subjects are to be expected. A complete purge is authorized at the administrator's discretion. Research teams are to perform a methodical sweep of the research wing before issuing an all-clear and terminating this alert. The administrator must submit an RM-13 incident report as well as a request for replacement test subjects to the Military Rotics Oversight Committee. My goodness. Hey, that's what we have right now. In the event of a failure or fault in the Code Conditioning Protocol, CCP, resulting in a mass uprising of the robot janitorial staff, see Definitions Appendix 3, any Class 2 supervisor is authorized to declare an Epsilon 6 security alert. Wait, there's an uprising of a robot janitorial staff going on? Or was going on? Hmm. If such an alert is initiated, all security and defense systems will activate... Oh, maybe the mechanist just turned it on, but that's not actually what's happening. Uh, remote terminal functions will be disabled and the control center will enter an automated lockdown state. Facility staff are advised to arm themselves and shelter in place. Um, an external review will be conducted by the Military Robotics Oversight Committee within 10 business days to determine the appropriate course of action. Wow, we have to remain in lockdown? For 10 days? 10 business days, not even just days, business days. What do these people eat for all that time? This alert may be terminated, one, by remote authorization from the MROC, or two, by the facility administrator from the master control terminal in the control center. 
as a failsafe if the control center has been compromised, a limited manual override can be initiated from the elevator access terminal in the security room 3. Uh, voice print identification of three registered class 2 supervisor level employees is required to activate the override. Holy god, these damn things are freaking mouthful. Omega protocol. In the event of a confirmed nuclear detonation, the facility administrator or in his absence, the highest level supervisor on duty, hereafter our acting administrator, shall institute a temporary lockdown and order all staff to shelter in place. A loss of contact with the with the military chain of command is to be expected. After a period of no less than 12 hours from the LOC event, the acting administrator shall attempt to reestablish contact the Emergency Communications Protocol Appendix 9. Any instructions transmitted pursuant to those communications are to be followed and supersede this protocol. In the event that communications cannot be reestablished within 24 hours from LOC, the acting administrator shall initiate an orderly shutdown of the facility. Test subjects are to be secured in their cells. Facility staff remaining on site are to delete any sensitive files and records, close down their stations, arm themselves, and collect their personal belongings. If communications have not been reestablished by 30 hours from LOC, the acting administrator shall activate lockdown mode Omega. This will provide a 10 minute window for staff to evacuate the facility. Wow, that is not a long window. This evacuation should be presumed to be permanent. Once initiated, the lockdown can only be terminated via remote authorization from the Military Robotics Oversight Committee. Holy shit. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired after reading all that. Although that didn't really provide me with a way to uh, disarm this. Ah, this probably would. Although, now we have to do one of these things, which I despise. Nope. Lacos? Uh, possible. Burrow? Possible. Absent? No. Bot? No. Definitely not. Events? Possible. No. No. Was, uh, Sweet. Huh. Cool. Achievement unlocked. Robco's worst nightmare. Not sure what that is. Activate. It's not activated right now? Why would I activate this shit? Close doors? What the hell's all that? Great, the elevator's not functioning. Please. Got it. So oh. Whoa. the scourge of the Commonwealth has used my own technology against me. You may have gained access to my sanctum, but you'll need better skills than that to defeat me. Okay. This is a weird gun. Picking up some For AOE. Um, I'm not sure what the elevator terminal is for, but if the elevator is out of commission, then I don't I really care. Considering how much I freaking hate those terminals. That's it. Let's just move on and reload. Over here. 
Sure, take your time. enormous potential. Not even Jackson managed to discover all the possible permutations. So then a quick save here in case something horrendous happens to us. And um, hmm. I think before I venture any further I am actually gonna cut off the video and uh... Oh. There's a lot of exploding shit. Uh, Alright, I'll just read these and then cut the video. Uh, Lieutenant Justin Green, US Army Robotics Division. I transferred over to run production control today. The idiot from General Atomics got pulled after he let the department efficiency drop below 90%. Private sector buffoons have it so easy. Imagine being content with such a crappy rating and not even having to account for the shortfall. I'm going to start getting things back on track down here and show those civilians how the US military runs the show. It took a while, but I finally weeded out the last of those General Atomics ingrates from my department. Who the heck did they think they were, anyways? I've never seen a lazier bunch of good-for-nothing layabouts in my life. Lost paperwork, mislaid supplies, inferior assembly work, you name it, and these clowns were the cause. Then there was Sarah Wallet. I don't know how to pronounce that. Wallacek? She was supposed to be GA's pride and joy down here. I caught her hooking up the robot brain heads to one of our recom recompilers? and trying to have a conversation with it, asking it, was it sad, and could it feel pain? Are you kidding me? I fired her on the spot. How a private company gets anything done without discipline, I'll never know. I'm pleased to report that the department is back up to 100% efficiency. Now that the section is staffed entirely by soldiers, the work is getting done on budget, on time, and without mistakes. That's how you win a damn assembly line. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it, General Atomics. Alright, Mr. Proud of the US military. Well, I suppose we'll have to... You know, face death and destruction that I am sure is coming. Next time. <laughs> I will see you guys then.